Hey everybody, this is your girl Coco 929 again. It is the next day. It's the 23rd. I'm about to go to bed, but I could not go to bed until I showed y'all something. <sighs> so proud, so proud. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cause we always hear. And I got some 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 stuff that uh I'm gonna talk about really, really quick that's not so favorable, but give me one moment. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. Again, this is Coco929, aka Libra Butter and Fly. Okay, okay. Let me see. I don't know. Let me see. How do I find this on her page? Hold on. Because it is good dang blasted news it is. So, let me see. Hold on. Ah, I knew when it came time to show it, I wasn't going to be able to find it. Dang nabbit. Let me go back and see. Hold on. And my and this computer, y'all, I promise you I cannot wait to get another one. Because this computer right here, Bob is my shana now. I promise you it does. You you hear how much I'm clicking it? It's not budging. It's not budging at all. I would never get another Hewlett Packard Q. Is this Hewlett Packard HP? Yep. I would never get another one. Absolutely not. I would wait and save up my money and get a deal. I promise you, because this is a piece of crap. And I, you know, kid you not. <sighs> Let me see. You can click on something four and five times and it don't budge. Then you have to click on it again for it to budge. That's crazy. It's time. Okay, yeah. So, I'm trying to see how. It it's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to show y'all now. Okay. So, 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 I'm excited. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get over here. Hold on. One moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. If y'all hear all the noise in the background, my son just baked some Oreo cinnamon rolls. So he's in there cleaning up his mess. My daughter is in the is in the shower singing or whatever. So we got a lot of going on tonight. I said, won't these people go to bed? Okay, y'all see this? Academic coaching. It says, congratulations information. It says, congratulations on enrolling in, uh, in your capstone course. What an accomplishment. You're almost there. So she said, uh-oh, bachelor's of science in nursing. It's that, you're, it's that you plan Let me see. You, you, your girl got another degree up on her back. I can reach. I promise. I don't have my glasses on right now. This says your girl got another degree up under her uh, belt. It says, uh oh, bachelor's of science in nursing. Is that you playing? Is that you playing? So, in other words, she just got her, just told she had her bachelor's of science in nursing. She's a registered nurse. She got that in 2020. Now she completed her last assignment because, hey, I was her assignment. And she had to uh, ask me different questions and interview me and turn it in. And once she did that and they graded it, uh, she, they will let her know if she got her, you know, got her degree. And so now she's got a bachelor of science. Go, girl. Shoot. I'm so happy, so proud, so everything. Um, you know, this kid, all my kids, even my little last confused child, she just, I'm going to let the Lord figure it out with her. She's a good kid. She's into trying to be general manager at this place. They already made a manager. She ain't even graduated high school yet. That's my last child. 
So everybody's an overachiever. You feel what I'm saying? So, but this child right here did this with five kids. Okay, so and a husband. You know, so I'm excited. Okay, so that's the celebration. Uh, updates. I found out that we are at least having one family reunion this year around the 4th of July. You talking about exciting. I was like, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. You know, so I am so excited. That has pumped me up. I was already sitting here making me out a meal plan, like what to eat, you know, for these next three weeks. Lord help. And uh, cause I do owe man, but I didn't do that today. Today, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I, I think I had so much going on with the fire and all this and stuff like that, um, that I just was like, forget it. Um, but yeah, I do owe med on, on other other days, okay, which is one meal a day. So, but now I'm ready to drop the meat part again and go mushrooms as my meat. So, um, yeah. <sighs> mushrooms, vegetables, and fruit. Plenty of fruit, plenty of water. You know, um, I got to, I got to, even though I'm still smaller than what I was, I feel like my weight wants to try to creep back up and I can't do that. I came too far. So I came too far on this side to go back on that side. I can't do that. Um, update, another update, our news. I just found out that there was a mass shooting in Colorado. I just told y'all last night that I knew that these people were collecting guns to do something. We haven't seen the half of it yet. And I told y'all the first year there will be breakout uh, mass shootings like in stores and uh, schools and stuff like that. So even though some of these kids have went back into the school system, you don't know where their mind is, okay? So we're going to have to pray for the minds of the kids as well as the minds of the parents, you know? Um, so I pray for the victims of the families in Colorado uh, who, you know, was murdered. I heard it was like 10 murdered and two wounded or something. I'm not sure, uh, but my heart and my prayers is out to them. So um, just wanted to come on and just, you know, talk a little bit about that as well. And you may not always understand prophecy, but if you, if you, <laughs> okay, last but not least, um, I told you all to, uh, let me turn this down for they be trying to uh, do some, I don't know, because they be tripping me out, be talking about, you got to, uh, you got to, uh, what they call that thing, a strike against you or whatever it's called. I'm like, oh, okay, really? Well, okay, thank you. Um, I wanted to tell y'all too that uh, um, remember I was talking about um, the water situation, okay? Um, I, I, what I see is somebody trying to do something to the water. I said that to you all also, but I see that the first time they try this, somebody's going to catch them. Okay, and it's going to be exposed a little bit. We may not hear it on a grand scale because they're going to try to keep this closed. They're going to try to keep this um, within house. What I mean by that is either within the state or within the government itself. Okay, um, um yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's so much stuff that uh, is actually trying to transpire that if I, if I get to telling y'all all of it I see, uh, we'll be here all night. And I ain't got all night. I got to go punch a clock in the morning and do overtime. You feel me? Um, so uh, I will do some more seasoning this week. And uh, the people that follow me know what I mean by seasonings, okay? I will do some more seasoning this week because I feel like the closer we get to the middle of this year, okay, this is what I see. Let me just go ahead and say this part. By May, between May and June, you're going to almost not hear anyone having the special gift, okay? Um. And it's not because everybody is going to be touched with one of the three uh, 
special soups that they giving people okay uh but it's gonna be like a die down situation and plus the cold weather that we had okay remember i remember most of the places was up on the cold weather they hadn't had it before like texas well there was a big freeze that freeze happened for a reason okay not that the the people that's over texas didn't f it up you know and i mean flubber it up okay uh but god used that cold because he heard the cries of the people uh and so you will soon you will soon hear them say that you know we are we're out of the woods but just be careful um you know things of that nature uh more states will begin to govern their own people uh as far as that's concerned and um you will start seeing a government inside of a government if that makes sense, it's, you know, you, you're still seeing a government inside of a governor. Um, um, there is more commercials and things that's coming out about to protect a certain type of group um, that's a certain type of nationality and um there will be some things that's going to be fake there will be incidents that are going to be fake okay they're going to look real but they're going to be fake and this is to bring up the hysteria of the people this is to get the people fighting amongst themselves again this is to get the people in fear again because see you got to realize when people are in fear then they're easier to control follow me okay um Again, I'm going to tell y'all, those of y'all who believe in the word, Psalms 91. Psalms 91. You put that over your household, Psalms 91. You read it, period. Read it for, you know, just, hey, when you read it, you'll understand what I'm saying. Psalms 91. Um, start getting out and living your life, y'all. OK, um, I know things have been conditioned for everybody to withdraw and stay away from people and all this and stuff. But I'm going to tell you something. I told you all before all this hit real bad that your vibrations to raise your vibrations because your fear can bring what you fear upon you. You know, uh, you have to raise your vibrations. And remember, energy is never destroyed. It's just transferred. So we have to make sure that. um we live in our life out loud. Even if you don't club or nothing like that, just sit on your porch sometimes, soak up the, the sun, you know, uh, um, create different recipes. Uh, like I said, some of y'all need to change that crap around in your home. Your home ain't been thoroughly cleaned in years. I mean, years. It's so stuffy and stank and smell like body odors. You know, our butt, you know, stink you know clean 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 you know clean i remember somebody told me i was like um what did i say i said uh my office is in shambles right now what i meant by that is because during the week i straighten up what i need to straighten up just so i can start my job again but then on the weekends i deep clean my office i told you earlier what i i was allergic to right so you know i have to keep it clean right so, and this person was like, you, yeah, you being lazy. I thought to myself, let me see your house. Let me, let me see your house. Forget, not, matter of fact, I'm going to make it easy on you. Let me see a room. Yeah, I didn't think so. Got quiet on that one. So, you know, don't come for me. Don't come for me at all. <laughs> because I work. And then I'm on one, I was on one foot. And I'm still kind of on one foot. But to God be the glory. Shoot, don't, don't do me. And this is a four and a half. Hold on. I don't want to lie. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It's actually a four and a half bedroom house with one bathroom. And I got two levels. Don't do not do me at all. I play it's not about cleanliness. So, um, 
But yeah, I'm some of y'all, y'all ain't cleaned your house since since Malcolm X was alive. Y'all need to come on and get with it. You know, shoot. I'm serious. And and I ain't talking about just straightening up, but I'm talking about clean. That's why I said, you know what? Yeah, I don't <laughs> Lord help me. God my words. You be surprised. Somebody come and move some right up under that spot. It's gonna be so white, uh, clean from the rest of the floor and stuff. Cause you don't never move nothing to clean it. And then some of y'all got these stowaway rooms, stowaway, stowaway uh uh places where everything's just a catch-all. You just everything's in there. You just you don't know where to put nothing. You just put it in there. You just put it in there until you just got a whole place full of number crap. Just crap. And I don't see why people just don't take every day and do a couple of things until you see your way through all of the crap. See, it's stuff people could be doing, but they choose, they choose not to. I, I don't get it, but hey, it ain't me. God knew who to get. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all can say what y'all want, but let me tell you something. I'm talking about my husband. God knew who to put me with. Do you hear what I'm saying? He knew who to put me with. I don't have to explain myself to this man. I can talk to this man and he don't, you know, get a, get offended because of what I say. You know, he ain't always liking what I say, but he don't get offended either. Just like I don't like everything he say, but I don't get offended. You know, it, it's just crazy. And, I, I it, you know, I feel sorry for single women. I do, because I've seen the single being out here, and I've talked to some, and my sisters, Lord, I'm asking the Lord to, y'all, I'm praying. I'm yet praying, because some of these men, boy, no woman to have them without cheating on them, because they can't take nothing. Everything is, is they on eggshells. They can't take nothing. Ain't no woman going to deal with no man like that unless you're cheating on them. And that's the truth. She'd be like, oh, okay, baby. Okay, baby. Everything's okay, baby. And as soon as it hang up, they call us and talk to somebody. Get... Anyway, I don't know how I'm getting on this. Let me get off that subject. Uh, because I'm, I'm moving forward. But I just wanted to come over and say that and congratulations for the grade and the, the degree. Uh, I wanted to come on here and say what I had to say. Uh, about my family reunion, y'all, I'm excited. I know some of y'all are like, why you had to share that? Because I had to. How about that? Because uh, I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh, and that my stocks is doing great. Oh, my goodness. I got alerts today. I'm like, you better go, Coco. So, yeah, I'm excited about that, too. So, um, all right, y'all. Y'all wish me well, please, with my new... Um, I don't know. I have to get stricter, y'all, about the weight and everything, because I got a month for real. My anniversary is May the 2nd, and I'm going to have to, I at least want to be 20 pounds lighter by May the 2nd, and my family reunion, the first one, I don't know if we have the rest of them or not, we usually have three family reunions a year, but the first one is the first weekend in July, so I can't wait to tell my husband it as well, but um, I, got, I, I got to, I got to. And uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going I'm to call down heaven. Do y'all hear me? Me and God are going to talk. I mean, we're going to talk, 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 talk like I know I can. So I'm going to need his help in this. Plus, I feel somebody praying against it because they're mad at me and they don't want me to lose no weight. They, they want me to get bigger. Y'all y'all think it's y'all think I be playing when I say stuff like that. Don't y'all know people can try to put a curse on you and you have no clue, but you wonder why things keep happening or why you, you know, it's because people get mad or they get jealous because it's not them and they'll start speaking stuff on you. I hope it don't happen. I don't want it to happen. I hope she, yeah. Yes, that's real talk. You know, it's real talk, but you can't curse what God is blessed. And I know I'm a blessing. You can try. You can try. And and it might look like it's winning until the Lord give me an insight that what's going on until somebody, you know, hey. So I, <clears throat> anyway, let me shut up or I go in deep. I could say some stuff. Mm. 
Anyway, y'all, I am going to get out of here so I can go to BED. Because I got to punch this clock. I got to wait for my baby to get home. <sighs> so I could snuggle up on their chest while I'm sleeping and uh, and everything. Yeah, I'm making foolproof for my husband. You know, for a while, I wasn't. You know, and I can I can honestly say my my marriage ministry was lacking, but something happened that made me wake up and say, "Girl, you better pay attention. You got a good husband, a very good husband that loves the ground you walk on, and would do anything in the world for you, anything, anything, and has proved it." And I was like, you know what? I have what other women want. When I be hearing people talk about what they want in a husband, I have that. You know? So I can honestly say, see, I can talk about me and tell y'all where I slipped up at. I can I can honestly say my marriage ministry was lacking. And it wasn't because of him. It was because of me. You know, sometimes we get too busy and start, you know, thinking we're doing stuff when we ain't doing nothing. You know? So, um, yeah. Mm-mm. I'm I'm a honey who I'm gonna love this man until it oozes out everybody's ears. And I'm talking about I love him, don't get me wrong, and I'm in love with him. well, I'm I'm elevated love with him. See what I'm saying? I I'm elevated love with I have elevated love for him. But I'm talking about until it's so syrupy sweet until it gives everybody but me a toothache. Yep. So any chew. Uh, I am going to go uh, get in this room, lay my burdens down, talk to the Lord about some stuff. And I will hopefully get with you guys tomorrow about a couple of seasonings and um, some more stuff. Okay. So you all be blessed. And remember, I love you. Smooches. Have a great night.